our organization, World Rugby, is the International Federation for Rugby, and we're playing a role. Our mission is to educate and prevent and monitor any corruption in our sport. I think that international federations have a huge role to play in the fight against match fixing. I think it's, I think it's a very, very important uh, cooperation. Until now, if you look at, for example, anti-doping, you see that the athletes are outside the whole model. So that involves um, cooperation and coordination with the sports organizations, with the law enforcement bodies, uh, and, and with the, the education side and the prevention side. Protect integrity is really important for all the player associations in Europe because education is the key in order to fight match fixing. Uh, we have seen over the last couple of years that the involvement of player associations directly in the locker rooms with the players are making a huge difference to protect the integrity of sports in Europe. The cooperation with Interpol is very important to us. We've learned in the past that athletes need to be on the table to solve issues. We're not at the table at the doping at the WADA and we are at the table. Um, it's always, a, it's always a, a field of our work that we're looking to make progress on. So particularly at the moment, we have um, an education program with regards to problem gambling. So with, uh, with um, Epic uh, Gambling Consultancy going around all of our member clubs, uh, to all of our members, and really alerting them to the dangers of problem gambling, which of course can be a factor in, in integrity issues in the game and match fixing. And, and I think nobody can tackle match fixing on its own. So the only way that we can tackle match fixing is to bring together people together and to increase cooperation and to get people to know each other and to build up trust between each other. And then uh, that will allow us to share information, which will enable us to hopefully be able to combat match fixing. And the reason why we invited uh, the IRB at the, at the conference is because we, we thought that they developed during the last Rugby World Cup good practices. Uh, around uh, integrity in sports. Uh, she's going to present the guidelines that they have implemented and the work that they have done together with the police, with the sports movement and player association all together. So.